Hey everyone, it's Mark for Windows Central and this is the Kangaroo Mobile Desktop. It's a $99 mini PC that might surprise you. Who's it for and should you buy it? Watch the review to find out. The packaging for the Kangaroo Mobile Desktop looks similar to what recent phones usually come in. It gives you a preview of how small this device is going to be. The box includes logos for Microsoft and Intel with specs on the back. But before we get into that, let's take off the cover and look inside. The first thing you see is the user guide. It lists the package content and gives a rundown of the ports. Next up is the Kangaroo Mobile Desktop. It has an aluminum finish and feels very solid. The main module is attached to the dock when you get it out of the box. Combined, they measure about 80.5 by 157.7 by 12.9 millimeters and weigh just 209 grams. So you also get the power adapter inside and that's it. Let's now talk about the specifications. The Kangaroo Mobile Desktop has a 1.44 gigahertz Intel Atom processor, two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs internal storage, integrated Intel H HD graphics, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth 4.0. There's only one upgrade option right now, and it's called the Kangaroo Plus Mobile. It has the same specs, but with twice the RAM and storage. It costs about $170. Up front, you see the Kangaroo's logo. On the left, there's a micro USB port for charging and micro SD slot for extra storage. On the right, there's a power button, fingerprint reader, and the action switch, which allows you to use the VNC software to remotely control your computer. Below the mobile desktop is the dock, which includes HDMI, USB 3.0, USB 2.0, and a power port for the AC adapter. Setting up the Kangaroo mobile desktop is very straightforward. Just connect to a display with an HDMI cable and insert your USB keyboard and mouse to the Kangaroo dock. Attach the AC adapter and press the power button. The Kangaroo Mobile Desktop comes with a very clean installation of Windows 10 Home. I didn't find any bloatware or any unusual pre-installed apps from Kangaroo. Other than that, you can take advantage of all the things that Windows 10 has to offer like Windows Store, Cortana, Office, and Microsoft Edge. At its very low price point, I didn't expect much from the Kangaroo Mobile Desktop. However, I was surprised at a few things. I connected it to my 4K monitor and was surprised to see sharp images. The Kangaroo supports 4K output at 30 frames per second, but you could also set it to 1080p, 60 frames per second if you don't have a 4K display. The Kangaroo Mobile Desktop has a battery inside, so it doesn't always have to be plugged in. It took about three hours of usage before needing to charge the device. What's strange, however, is that the battery meter in the taskbar doesn't let you know how long until it dies or how long it takes to fully charge. Laptops running Windows 10 usually provide that information. You could also charge the Kangaroo Mobile Desktop via the micro USB port, but it's lower than plugging in the regular power adapter. When it comes to performance, it's certainly capable of simple tasks such as browsing the web, checking email, and watching Netflix, but I do notice some slowdowns when scrolling down big websites, switching between apps, and opening multiple windows. You can blame the small 2 gigs of RAM for that. You're going to be frustrated if you plan to do a lot of multitasking. If you're looking for numbers, the Kangaroo Kangaroo Mobile Desktop scored 942 for single core and 2,203 for multi core in Geekbench 3. You can also take a look at the numbers from Crystal Discmark. The Kangaroo Mobile Desktop is fanless, so you don't hear any buzzing or any other noise coming out of the device. With that said, it can get warm. After 20 minutes of playing games, the temperature on the mobile desktop can reach 105 degrees. The hotspot is near the dock, and it might be uncomfortable to touch for some people at that temperature. But on the other hand, I didn't notice any crashes due to it being too warm. The Kangaroo Mobile Desktop has a fingerprint scanner on the side, so you can use Windows Hello. Setting it up is easy. Just go to Settings accounts, sign in options, and click the setup button under fingerprint. Just place your finger on the scanner next time you need to log in. It works really well. So what's the verdict on the Kangaroo mobile desktop? Well, if you were looking to get an affordable second PC at home, the mobile desktop is a great choice. Having a battery means you're not forced to use the power cable, and having more than one USB port means more connections with peripherals. The Kangaroo mobile desktop can also be great for frequent travelers who don't want to carry a laptop. Of course, they'd still have to hook it up to a TV or monitor at their destination. The major downside is performance. The small amount of RAM can get you through simple tasks, but you'll notice lag when opening big web pages or multiple apps. So for $99, you get the Kangaroo Mobile Desktop with the dock, 
You could also get additional docks for $39 each for a quicker setup at multiple locations. We'll probably see more docks from Kangaroo with more ports, bigger battery, and other options in the future, but they're not available yet. For now, Kangaroo Mobile Desktop is definitely something to consider if you need another Windows Send PC that won't hurt your wallet. That should be it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. You could also see the written review at windowscentral.com. I'm Mark Wim. Thanks for watching.